students. Okay, we are going to continue with our grammar and we are going to pick up with adverbs, adverbs and a comparative and superlative. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next slide. Okay, students, let's um, go ahead and talk about the definitions for comparative um, adjectives, adverbs, as well as a superlative. So a comparative adjective, uh, it's described and it's, 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 similar, it's described with similarities and differences between two nouns, people, places, I say objects or things, okay? People, places, objects, or things. And let's talk about what an adjective is first. Let's talk about what an adjective is first. So an adjective is, I want to give you the, just a basic definition here. Uh, the definition of an adjective is there are words that are used to describe or modify nouns or pronouns, okay? Nouns or pronouns. So an example of adjectives, we're just talking about simple adjectives, are red, quick, and happy. Okay, um, she's wearing a coat. Coat is a thing. She's wearing a red coat. That's an adjective. It's describing or modifying noun or pronoun. Now an adverb, let me give you the definition, the complete definition for an adverb. The adverb is a word or phrase that modifies and or it can qualify as an adjective, a verb, or another adverb. Okay? So again, an adverb is a word or phrase that modifies and can qualify as an adjective, a verb, or another adverb. So when we're talking about these comparative adjectives and comparative adverbs, remember the comparative adjective, remember what an adjective describes. Okay, so we're describing similarities between differences, between two nouns, similarities and differences, excuse me, between two nouns, people, places, I say things, they have objects. A comparative adverb, it makes um, comparisons between two verbs. That is, they describe how, when, or how often, or to what degree an action is done. So let me, let's look at this one right here, this example. John runs faster than Tim. Who ran faster? John. Who did he run faster than Tim? Okay, and then that word then is also an example of how you're going to getting ready to compare two, two different uh, nouns. And that's, that's the comparative, you're comparing two different things. I like chocolate ice cream more than strawberry. That's not true. I like strawberry ice cream more than chocolate. Okay, so let's look at the superlative. The superlative adverb is used to compare three or more people, places, or things. See, they don't have objects or they have things, the same thing. Okay, so uh, it's used to state that the action performed is the highest degree within a group or of its kind. Kind of like infinity. So there are sometimes, these are sometimes preceded by the word the but not always, remember that. So here's an example of a superlated adverb. And remember, an adverb is a word or phrase that modifies or it can qualify as an adjective, another verb, or as an adverb. So the superlative adverb uh, example is, Bobby talks the loudest of all the boys which means nobody else talks louder than Bobby, okay? So Bobby talks the loudest of all the boys. So I'd like you to remember that when you're writing and, and the whole point of using all of these is so that you understand when to use a comparative, when to use a superlative, okay? Let's go to the next slide. Okay, students, this is a chart that I put I, I wanted to put on here and I kind of want you to kind of view it and take your time, maybe pause this. And I want you to look at the two differences between the comparative and the superlative. Comparative, again, it compares two things. Usually you add an ER to the one syllable words and you add more and or less to words with two syllables. 
Okay. So let's look at the example. Taller than. Tall is a one syllable word. So you're going to add the ER to that one syllable word. Add more and less to words with two syllables when you're doing comparative. More boring than. More boring than. So less boring than. Okay, that's a. Uh, remember the more and less to words with two syllables. Boring. Even though we added the suffix to the boring. Boring. That. Boring. Two syllables. Okay. Now let's look at if words end in Y, drop the Y and add I-E-R, followed by the word then. So look at that word in the box, crazier. Craze, instead of putting crazy, C-R-A-Z-Y, crazy, two syllables, you add the then and you drop the Y and take and, and add the I-E-R. And younger, they have younger than, followed by the younger than. So I just kind of want you to look at these. Don't don't um, get too confused, but I'd like you to uh, compare the two, the superlative. We know that one is two things, uh, the other is three things. We know that one is er faster versus est fastest, because fastest is final. That's the, that's the ultimate. And so I want you to see that in the superlative, you're adding the EST to one syllable words. And then to two syllable words, you're going to add the most and least. So when you have a word that's two syllables, but you want it to be, you're comparing three things, you'll add that, um, that most and least to it, but only to two syllable words. Beautiful. The most beautiful. The most beautiful okay the laziest again you drop the Y on that one drop the Y so both of those you drop the Y okay so I want you to look at the two differences and uh, differentiate which ones comparative and superlative that you would use in your writing okay and I'm gonna when I um, I would leave next week uh, we continue with these I'm gonna give you some some sentences to complete and um, I would like I'm going to have you describe uh, a superlative sentence and a comparative sentence and I'll give you some subjects to write about so I want you to think about that I want you to reflect on this chart okay thank you next slide okay students this is just a simple chart I wanted to show you um, how it goes from an adverb to a comparative and superlative What's interesting is uh, the word good, the adverb good. And remember, what is an adverb? An adverb can describe an adjective, another verb, or another adverb. Okay? So, let's look at good. Better. He is better than. And then best. You wouldn't say bestest. It's best. Because that's the ultimate. Best is the ultimate. So that's, those are just a few words I wanted to show you when it goes from a, an adverb to comparative to a superlative. Okay, let's go to the next slide. All right, students, here's one more slide uh, using, compare, using and comparing adverbs. Uh, they say positive, but basically the positive is an adverb. That's what would go up there in that spot. So uh, I just wanted to give you a list of some words that you would look at, and uh, these are... These are some, uh, when they say positive, basically those are uh, um, considered adverbs and you, you would use those in place of a verb or in place of an adjective or in place of another uh, adverb. Okay, so remember that. And uh, I just kind of want you to get used to it and read the little captions and um, just study them, okay? Excellent. So we're going to move on. I'm going to give you uh, today, I'm going to give you a, um, a few sentences that I want you to, um, 
to apply some of these rules to, okay? All right, and if you need to, rewatch the video again, all right? And if you like listening to Mrs. Rhea talk, watch the video two times, okay? Happy learning, students.